We're moving to the women's long jump now. And this is the T12, Yulia Kronchak of Ukraine. Solid effort. This is T12. With the T12 Medium visual course, impairment. Area. Solid land. She's the third to go in this. Good result there. Should uh, Karunchuk in terms of takeoff. Well, it will put her in the medals because she's the third to go. That's from Sara Martinez of Spain so far. Change from jumper to jumper. There's no electronic measurement here. It's uh, what the trident has to be beyond four measure. meters. So the results from the T11 to the T12 jumps do take a little longer to come through. It's the uh, long chalk area where from the tip of the toe it'll be measured to the first indentation in the sand. So the measurements do take a while here, it being T12. And it's four meters 14, places are in third place. That's four meters 14, and she goes into third place. So Linda Hamry of Algeria in the first round of the T12 long jump. Solid jump. 571 a lifetime best. Twenty-six years old. And she won silver in this. Early on two years ago in silver at London 2012. From Algiers. She'll be a live candidate here. Make no doubt about that. That's over five meters at the very least. It's five minutes 54, and Linda Hamrick is our new leader. So let's go back to the gold medalist at IGC Athletics World Champion. It's the European champion, Sara Martinez. Representing Serbia, Jelko Dimitrovic. Well, that's up around the six meter mark. Just an indication. Started off with 5.35, did Martinez. That's potentially around the Ladies same mark. Shikovska with that. Serbia. Really excellent effort in the first round of 6 meters 10. Martinez, 5.35. So the World of Paralympic Games champion, second round, Oksana Sapkowska. She's our leader here, six meters ten. She's firmly in the zone, in the frame of mind, and looking for more gold. She's won the last two Paralympic rounds, and that's another massive one. Victor in Lyon, London, representing the People's Republic of China. Maybe not necessarily happy with that, but it looks around the same distance. She's again. Pretty much in the same spot from which he launched last time. Can't fault the technique at all for the Ukrainian. Had an absolutely excellent time at the last World Championships in Lyon, and Zubkovska on the way for attaining a title. There were 13 goals last time, was the most successful games. San Martinez in the long jump, it's the third round. Attention, 5.35, her best effort. Slightly less in round two. Ever decreasing circles, 5.22. Martina stays in the bronze medal position. For Germany, Katrin Muller-Rothgart. <laughs> Trying to get up among the medals, 5.02. Very successful athlete, right across the board, good sprinter as well, excellent jumper. Change of proceedings. Used the board perfectly. Muller Rothgard, Europeans last year picked up three silvers in the one, the two, and the long jump. 18.30 has moved her into the silver medal position. Four meters 82, and Muller Rothgard. 
stays in fifth place. Zhao of China, 39.27. Yulia Koronchak of Ukraine, bronze in the long jump. And the last World Championships in Leon, and she was fourth at London 2012. Sheila of Ukraine up into third with 38.87. So it's getting pretty bunched at the top of the leaderboard. Zhao of China next in. She's got a lifetime best of 39.27. That came in the first round. Hasn't been able to match it since. Superb About jumping. To take her fifth round attempts by the Ukrainian. There. On the screen. Has Karonchak improved. She hasn't five meters dead, 505 prior to that. Now Muller Rock out of Germany, a regular medalist internationally. This T12 medium visual impairment, she's met the board very well. Looking to step up a little bit, she's outside the medals at the moment, 502 in the first round. That's right to the middle of the board. Second semi-final, Agawa of Japan going well, also Bassett outside her. Now comes Vanessa Lowe with her charge. And the long jump gold bonus is going to win this one, and she's going to win it comfortably. Vanessa Lowe, the uh, aforementioned 2009 Javelin World Champion. She's the field events Wind speed, boss minus one the German point Paralympics zero. now. And as we said before, she got involved in the sport when she was in her mid-20s. Not, not I think she was 39 when she won the Javelin World title in 09 at 4 meters 80. Yulia Kranchak of Ukraine with her fourth round attempt. No problem with the time. Unofficially, Gay won in Japan, 1791. Kranchak very close to a medal at London 2012 and finishing in fourth place. Used as much of the board as she possibly could. Is that something you've come across very much, Evan? Um, those on the IAAF circuit chipping in into para sport it's yeah. a great example we have there with germany yeah i think in recent years there's been a lot more crossover between the iaaf the athletes and coaches from the iaaf moving into paralympic sport as it becomes more professional even here we've got gary bourne as one of our long jump coaches in the athletics team for australia and he is the coach of the likes of mitch watt the and those greats from australia so he's here coaching carly Beatty, who's his athlete at home and we've got boys like ben harradine the australian discus thrower the australian record holder for the discus um, he trains and hangs out with the paralympic athletes regularly so he's a big help to some of the boys 493 that was. Here's Sara Martinez, the European oh, champion. Her sister Maria has appeared at a couple of Paralympic Games herself. Maria Martinez. Here's Sara, 535. In the first round, there's a fourth attempt. Good plan from the Spaniard. And that lesser again. She had some good speed on the runway. Take off looked okay, but uh, she doesn't look happy with that. The heat may be taking a bit of a toll on this lady from Spain as she continuously just takes a little bit of distance off with each jump. Started 5.35 and it went down in round two and down in round three and it's down again in four. Five metres ten, but she's still in the bronze medal position. Fourth round and long jump, Linda Hamri of Algeria, the London 2012 silver medalist, likewise in the last World Championships in Lyon. Hamri, 5.54 in the first round, has her in second place, again, used that board very, very well. Pretty much hit the launch area dead on. I'm going to go fast here. Distances, by the way. I'm going to go to Posca. Ukraine is the world record holder with 660. The championship record holder and defending champion with 651. Can she improve by the half meter necessary to overtake Subkovska, or is the gold 
already secure. It's 5.24. 5.24. She stays in second place. Now from the medal ceremonies back to the long jump pit. T12 women's competition. Oksana Zubkowska with her fourth attempt currently in first position with a best of 6.10. That is very nice indeed from the Ukraine. Pierre's happy with it as well. Both legs look to be well taped up. If I could speak Ukrainian, I would have told you what she said then. But I don't. Yet. Whatever, I think she was happy. She passed in round three, by the way, pretty confident with how things are going. Back out again in lane four. Round four, and we just wait for the measurement now. 6.10 in the first round, 6.07 in the second. She passed up in the third. This her fourth attempt. As we await confirmation of her distance. There it is, 6.15, a new season best for the lady who holds the world record and is the current defending champion in this competition with the championship record. Machado, Brazil, 1882. Todorova, Bulgaria, 30. They are top. Three. This year, the start of the fifth round. Spain's Sarah Fernandez Roldan in sixth place. Four fifty-three. Her best effort so far in the fourth round. Got away fine. Certainly not up near. Zubkowska's effort a moment or two ago. That was big. Good use of the board. Can't fold that. Four seventy seven her lifetime best set this year. Can she improve on sixth position? 462, it is an improvement, but she remains in sixth place. Let's go back to the women's long jump. From Wattenside in Germany, Katrin muller roth 502 at best so far, needs to improve by half a metre. Needs to go exactly a quarter of a metre beyond her lifetime best in order to get into the medals. And that might be it. Trouble of medals last year in Swansea, which was very creditable indeed. Looks like she's going to finish outside the medals again here at world level. She a very, very firm athlete. And I feel there's no consolation for her tonight. Going into the final round in fifth place. Just the one effort above five meters. And fifth is where she will finish. Now for Ukraine. In fourth with 505. Yulia Koronchak. Bronze in the long jump at the last World Championships. Fourth at London 2012. And if she can improve again by half a meter. It'll be a medal here, 5.30, her lifetime best. And that will be good enough for fourth, and that's where she is right now. A solid leap. Then needed to be 5.50 in order to break into the medals. Actually needed to be a, a centimetre higher than that. With a very strong quality field here, six in the final, and they all have major championship medals to the name. Yeah, 
no improvement. So the Ukrainian is 495. The best was 505. Apart from the first. Excellent. So lying in third place, bronze medal position for the European champion, Sara Martinez of Spain, 5.35 a best so far. That is looking better. Has she saved the best attempt to last? Now, Linda Hamri of Algeria is in the silver medal spot, 5.54. How close has Martinez come to this? Sobkovska, we could almost chalk down as the champion now, I'm sure. Hamri might be sweating a little here. Good attempt, but I think it has sunk in. It will be third for her. It was an excellent effort. 5.51. It was the best of the day, and she was only three centimeters away. Now, Linda Hamri in the silver medal position for Algeria. It's a major effort again, but will it be enough? Honestly, I don't think so. She's had to hold up Sara Martinez of Spain with the 5.51 in the final round, just before the last medal ceremony. That's a good effort by Amri. The lady from Algiers, and it looks like a third global silver medal on the top for her. From the inside then, in lane one, bronze in the 200 meters from the Netherlands, Fleur Young. And it's tears, I fear, for Sara Martinez. There was bronze in the long jump last time and bronze again this. Silver might have quelled the waterfall. Hamri gets the silver just as she did two years ago. And Zabowska gets the gold just as she did two years ago. She's had the comfort of skipping two of her previous five jumps. Skokska on the way. Oh, that's surely the best of the night. The world record holder really on fire. I told her Martinez, his lifetime best, would have seen her in second place, but sadly not for her tonight. Great leaping by Sokovska, and every single time we see her hit the board, it's right there that the left foot connects with. Really in magnificent form, 6 meters 15 in round four. All of her jumps, good enough for goal. Take a bow, young lady, champion again. Oksana Zokovska, the world champion yet again. The flag's ready. Another exquisite win. Best of the night, 6 metres 25. And that's the way to win it.